In this video, we'll take you through the ThingStream platform and show you how to get your things quickly and easily connected to the Internet of Things. Let's log in and get started. You do this from the main ThingStream website. That's thingstream.io. When you log in, the first page you come to is the dashboard. This gives you a bird's eye view of all your things and what they've been doing over the last 24 hours. Each of the panels on the right hand side can be clicked through for more information. For example, clicking on things will take you straight to the things page. We'll come back to that in a moment. For the panels below, connections, messages, warnings and errors, clicking these opens a window where you can expand the date range to see performance over long periods of time. The information can be manually refreshed by clicking on the refresh symbol on each panel. On the left hand side of the dashboard you have the navigation pane. Starting from the top you'll see your ThingStream domain name. When you're done and it's time to sign out, click here to do just that. After the dashboard, that's where we are now, we have Things. Click here to reveal the Things tab. The Things tab is where you'll come to manage all of the things that you have set up to communicate with ThingStream. You may have already purchased a ThingStream enabled device, which came with an activation code. To add this to the platform, click Add in the top right hand corner and then click Enter Activation Code and enter the code when prompted. You can also add devices with the type Internet by clicking on Add and then New Thing. Let's add one now. On the right of each thing is an overflow menu where you can deactivate or see more information about your thing, send test messages, manage tags, change its display names, show its API keys or delete the thing altogether. So now you have a thing in your list, what can you actually do with it? Let's start by giving it a name. This is just a label to help you identify your thing. Things with the type Internet are used to connect clients to the ThingStream domain using MQTT version 3.11. MQTT is the simplest way to get data in and out of ThingStream and is widely used in the IoT space. You can read more about MQTT and find links to useful resources by clicking Documentation in the Navigation pane. The next tab in the ThingStream portal is Topics. If you're familiar with MQTT, then you'll already know about Topics. But if you're not, let me explain. MQTT uses a publish and subscribe model. Clients publish information to a given topic and subscribe to topics in order to receive information. The topics list in ThingStream is where you manage the topics that are used by your things. There are some preset topics which you can subscribe to in order to find out useful information about the events in your domain, or you can create your own topics. As with the Things tab, you can give your topics friendly names and group them together using tags. One of the most important things in the topics list is the alias. ThingStream enabled devices use a lightweight version of MQTT called MQTT SN, which was designed for use in sensor networks. The topic alias is a way for these devices to publish or subscribe to topics which may have a long name using a simple integer, thus reducing the amount of data needing to be sent. You can create an alias for your topic by clicking on plus alias in the list or by using the overflow menu to the right of the list. The next tab is for managing subscriptions. Subscriptions are how you get ThingStream to perform an action when one of your things publishes some data. As when you add a subscription, you get several options for what you want to subscribe or listen to. A thing allows you to subscribe to the published topic event for one of the things in your thing list, saving you the need to remember the device ID. Existing topic allows you to subscribe to a topic from your topic list, 
saving you the need to remember the topic name. All Buttons slash Alias One sets up a wildcard subscription to listen to the topic for all devices in the Things list. You should note that Things Stream buttons publish to this topic by default. Other things in your list may publish to different topics and so may not be picked up by this option. In addition to the predefined options for what to listen to, you have the ability to enter a subscription path, i.e. the topic path that you want to listen to. Let's set up a subscription for the internet thing we created earlier. To do this, click Create Subscription. We want to add a thing, so let's select a thing. You should then see your thing in the list. Click on it to select it. You can now select from a number of predefined actions that will be taken when your thing publishes some data. These include making an HTTP post, sending an email, and sending the data to an Amazon SQS queue. Other options will be added here over time. Let's set up an HTTP post. Enter the URL that you want to post to. You can generate one using a service like posthere.io. You can set a user agent value if you want to and decide whether you are interested in SSL warnings from the site you are posting to. We've set the default value here to ignore SSL warnings. Now just hit create and you'll see your subscription appear in the list. As with our other lists, you have the option to give the subscription a name or add tags to help with grouping subscriptions. You can also see how many times that subscription has been run. The overflow menu on the right lets you edit the subscription or delete it entirely. Next in the navigation pane is the Flows tab. ThingStream provides a powerful visual programming tool for wiring together hardware devices, APIs and online services to build intelligence into IoT connectivity. The browser-based editor makes it easy for developers to create conditional data flow rules using predefined drag-and-drop node palettes that can be connected, debugged and deployed in minutes. More information on using ThingStream flows can be found by clicking on documentation in the navigation page. To access your account, click through to settings. On this page, you can view your account details and invoices and also add extra members to your team as required. Clicking on events will show important messages relating to activity on your ThingStream domain. You'll see devices connecting, subscribing to topics and publishing. The events in the list are color coded, red, amber and green, to help you quickly identify anything that's going wrong. Thank you for watching, we hope you found this video useful. If you need any more information, contact us at any time by sending an email to support at thingstream.io. We'd love to hear from you.